What's going on XLM Army? Welcome back to the Jolie channel. It's a great pleasure to have you in for you guys to stop back in. I have a special update forecast that you're definitely going to love today. And yeah, I have a little little sign right here. Hello XLM Army. I'm filming from Seoul, South Korea. Special update from here. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop into today's uh, update forecast and where uh, XLM Stellar Lumens is going. So there is a lot of exciting bullish news going on and not even about that from a fundamental point of view from a technical and chart and graph uh, perspective as well. It's uh, looking freaking amazing right now and the, it's I'm personally leading towards uh, more and more to the bullish scenario as time progresses. Um, of course, this is not financial advice. This is only for educational and entertainment purposes. So uh, please keep that in mind. Please do your due diligence and your research before you know hopping into the markets. It is um, yes, very quick, fast, and aggressive. So all right, guys. So let me go ahead and hop in. So from the last update we had, I believe we were um, over here. We were kind of in that bull flag, and it actually worked out. That's the, that's kind of the funny part. It's uh, it's amazing. Sometimes it just works out like that, where we had this kind of flag pattern here, um, and I think after what a week of consolidating and forming kind of a bull flag, it you know it broke out, and right now it's kind of consolidating. Right now, uh, ironically, it's uh, it's looking like it's uh, doing it again. Um, surprisingly it's making another kind of a bull flag pattern right now or maybe a falling wedge but right now it looks like another bull flag we did get this nasty rejection this wick you can see there to uh, for XLM and seven cents uh, not all crypto assets had this kind of retracement uh, that was because uh, BTC had that minor flash crash I think it was like uh, BTC had like 8,000 um, so right now we are currently at um, it was eight cents and looking at this guys it's looking so familiar to 2017 where you see these big flash crashes those are and you see how fast it got bought back up that just shows you resilience in the market that there we're in for a treat and that's why I'm you know not from just a technical or a graph perspective or whatever time analysis but from just a sentimental and just experimental from experience point of view, just being in that 2017 bull market, um, this happened a lot. And so if you are lucky to have stopped by in this video, I hope that that will build your conviction and confidence moving in to the thesis of Q4 of this year or Q1 of 2022 being that parabolic euphoric stage where that kind of blow off top will happen in the total crypto total market cap and all the cryptos will go together all uh, coins tokens all assets will uh, fly together right including of course XLM absolutely will uh, will rip together so all right so definitely keep that in mind so we are currently at 38 cents today is October 24 in uh, Seoul right now and yeah it, it's looking really great it's consolidating beautifully and we are just getting close to something just something epic happening either in November it could be mid-November it could be beginner beginning um, it's definitely November December something's gonna happen uh, definitely something so but anyways guys let me hop in to uh, the first bullish scenario which I'm personally uh, leaning more and more towards to right so you could see here that right now uh, XLM is in this within my celestial web lines my divine celestial web lines based off a very peculiar symmetry that has been tried and true over hours and hours and years and years of experimentation and research and testing is that it's forming this incredibly beautiful symmetrical triangle here right with beautiful higher lows you see that's ascending and that it's now consolidating i know other asset classes have already went to the upside uh, already like polka dot or solana uh, there's a few other projects that are uh, have already kind of went early don't worry about it I, let the other 
the other uh, cl asset classes like XLM are going to have their chances as well. It's def <laughs> definitely trusted. So that's even more of a reason to uh, maybe want to wanting to hop in to kind of increase exposure um, if you haven't done it or if you want to add more to kind of uh, your portfolio. But that's up to you guys. Please do your due diligence. That's just personal opinion, okay? All right, so what's going on with... Um, with XLM, so right now we're we're you can see so many bullish signs right here. Just with, I don't need any fancy indicators. Um, I, in the future, when I do open up my uh, private kind of private mesh, exclusive membership, I'll give a lot of details. But just based off of just looking at this chart, it's incredible, incredibly excuse my pronunciation bullish here. We have there's so many reasons for that. We have a you know double bottom right here, right? And not only that, it's a Adam and Eve double, double bottom here. Um, a Adam and Eve double bottom is meaning that one side of the bottom of the double bottom is more of a rounding pattern and the other is more of a sharp V. So we have one thing there, which leads into a macro kind of um, W reversal pattern, which you can see there. Beautiful. Um, to add another geo pattern on top of that, which is incredibly bullish, how beautiful it is. It's, it's forming this uh, reversing symmetrical, we can even see this as also ascending triangle as well, depending on how we uh, draw this, right? Incredibly bullish, right? You see that it's trying to just blow out, blow out and just blast off uh, from this uh, bottom position. It's just consolidating beautifully, just building up that kinetic energy to just really send to the upside, right? So. We have that on there. Um, what else can I add in? So I see um, also another uh, beautiful uh, geo pattern that I can add in that could be playing out into the future, which adds into the bullish scenario is a, a cup and handle pattern. I drew that a little too far, but that's okay. So uh, yes, so we have a cup and handle, or you can see this as a rounding pattern depending on your terminology of choice. So it could be doing something like this, which lines up once again with the thesis of Q4 or Q1 or Q2, depending if you believe in it's a lengthen cycle, that that will be the blow off, bull off, not bull off, uh, bull market cycle top. So, um, but anyways, and then from there, um, it will kind of go follow within this uh, bull, uh, this, what is this? Cup and handle, right? And then it'll do something like this, right? Kind of just working its way up and then making its way back to all time, the last local top of 79 cents. And then uh, taking a pullback at top, of course, there's gonna be some sellers there. And then, yeah, we are going to blast off, absolutely. So let me kind of draw that. So yeah, and then blast off, rip to the upside making brand new uh, historical highs that has never been seen for XLM and Stellar Lumens. So incredibly bullish uh, what's um, in store for um, Stellar, uh, Stellar Lumens and XLM. So it's still absolute great chance. It's easier to pick up than its big brother XRP, which is absolutely bullish as well. XRP Ripple is looking beautiful despite uh, the SEC, the lawsuit that they're facing. Uh, incredibly be beautiful. So you can pick up the little sister, little brother. Um, it's still on Coinbase right now for all the people in the States. Um, I think um, for other people, you can pick up on your exchange, wherever it is you are in the world. It's on uh, everywhere, pretty much. Binance, Bitfinex, Bitrix, everywhere. So, but anyways, that is the first bullish scenario, which I'm personally leaning towards. So definitely you know, keep this in mind. I will be updating, you know, uh, as time progresses, even in the bear market, I will be updating. And um, yeah, which leads us into our next scenario, which I personally, I am not leaning towards, but I should give uh, the bear scenario just in case, right? This is more for learning purposes and, you know, educational purposes, just to stay prepared and stay sharp, just in case, right? We never know what could happen. There could be an alien invasion, a black swan event like an alien invasion or a zombie outbreak or maybe a more crazier, you know, COVID, 
right? An upgraded COVID, right? Alpha Omega, whatever, right? That are just crashes all asset classes together. So, but anyways, you know, more for learning purposes and just uh, just for usefulness, right? For the future um, is the bear scenario. So what could happen uh, if we are in a bear scenario is that, you know, I've been saying it uh, before is, okay, so I got cut off there. But anyway, so for the bearish scenario, uh, how I see playing out is that if we do get a bearish scenario here, then maybe what will happen is that it will not be able to break through, right? Maybe it could do a little bull trap here, um, something like that. It could even do something like that where it shoots up. A lot of people get excited and it shoots down. But ultimately, what will happen is that it will make a big uh, three-wave count in this was so a lot of the bears are saying that personally that back in May 15 that was the high that was actually the bull market top and we're making this bearish three wave count where we got A here B could maybe maybe we'll just use that as our target so for B and then C will retrace a lot lower than expected so and then maybe it'll go to over here it, it will pass the last local bottom probably at 18 19 cents but let's say it's supposed to make another uh, a lower low so and then from there it just will go sideways right pretty much for whatever a couple years right and just pretty much have some relief rallies all along the way um, some people might get excited there but most likely the sentiment will be people who will already have given up um, so definitely keep that in mind, you know, just for yourself and, you know, self-development and just to just stay sharp, right? So um, I personally, when we do go in the bear market, I will be still updating, like I was saying, but I plan on, you know, going into, um, you know, trading ideas during that. I have kind of vision for that, having a kind of a trading system, trading ideas for that time. I personally think in a bear market, it's easier to trade uh, than a bull market. Bull market, absolutely, you got to huddle. Um, that's my uh, POV, and just make those huge generational uh, just gains, generational wealth. That's the chance. And then in the bear market, just great chance to kind of trade. And uh, I don't want to say like monthly, monthly income, but like maybe in, if we do some swing trading, maybe every month or two, you can get some a decent. Uh, decent profit where definitely that's more than enough to support yourself. So uh, but anyways That is the the bearish scenario. I'm not leaning towards that. That's this is just more for uh, to help you guys and prepare just in case so Anyways guys excellent Ari. Thank you so much if you tuned in, please subscribe and like if you haven't um, I will be updating and updating my journey and documenting so you see the different scenarios and how XLM is moving and its momentum in the future. So definitely stay tuned. It would be uh, greatly appreciated as well and useful for you guys. So that's about it. Have a lovely day. You know, keep believing and in the end we will achieve. So, all right guys, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.